Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and here I'm playing as Sniper, yes, Sniper, on Payload Thunder Mountain. And so I don't really play a lot of Sniper, and oh, obvious spy. Uh, and the reason for not playing a lot of Sniper is that I used to record these games live with Fraps on my computer. Uh, instead, what I do now is I actually record the demo, which takes up a lot less CPU, and uh, that way I get a higher frame rate, and that way I can do a little bit better uh, while sniping. And so, uh, I, you can see here I'm kind of failing. I hit a lot of hits. Um, sniper, I realize, is it's not only about kills with Sniper, but it's also about damaging the other team, because even with no charge at all on your gun, you can get a uh, headshot with like 150 damage, so it's pretty good. Here, this spy is just, I don't know, decloaked right in front of me, just, just wanted to escape. Uh, I get him later, though. I think he, he wants some more. So, uh, I'm using the Bizarre Bargain, which is a new rifle that uh, is, is actually kind of strange. Uh, now, it has a reduced charge rate. If you didn't know, the sniper actually has a charge rate. Uh, you can charge up your gun by zooming in. Oh, here's this spy again. Uh, trying to escape. I don't know what he's doing, but not this time. The sniper rifles, you can zoom in, and while you're zoomed in, it actually charges, and the more it charges, the more damage it does. But with the Bizarre Bargain, it has a lower charge rate, but it has this head count, headshot counter on the bottom, you can see, on the bottom right. And basically, for every headshot you get, whether it be a kill or just hitting someone's head, you, it adds one head to your head count. And uh, the more heads you have, the faster it charges up for your next shot. And so it's kind of like, you can, it's kind of like you're playing a mini-game with yourself, you know, like how many headshots you can get in a row. If you get a body shot, it reduces the count by one, and if you completely miss, it resets it to zero. So, this is probably not the best weapon for me to use because I'm not really one for going for headshots. I like to actually charge up the rifle and uh, and go for but maybe even body shots sometimes, especially when they're running. I usually try to go for body shots instead because it's a lot of it's a little bit easier. So, that sniper took me out. Uh, I can clearly see him on top of that uh, hill. And so I'm just having a sniper on sniper battle, boom, take him out with a body shot. And so I switched back to the regular, I don't know why that one didn't hit. Did you see that one? Oh, strange. <laughs> I don't, uh, I switched back to the regular sniper rifle because I like to have that charge. I like to, I like to have a more powerful sniper shot. Oh, that was a weird headshot. It didn't really look like a headshot, but it registered as one. Um, I, I yeah, I, like I said, I like to have, have that full charge uh, up pretty quickly and then just do a lot of damage because uh, with a full charge on your sniper rifle you can actually take out a heavy with one shot I believe it does 450 damage uh, with the with a headshot when it's fully charged and a heavy only has 300 by default now it's not gonna it's not gonna work all the time if he's overhealed but if he's just standing by himself with a full charge on the sniper rifle, you can take out a heavy with one shot, and you know that 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 gives your team a really big advantage because heavies absorb a lot of damage, and so if you're trying to kill a heavy with another heavy or a soldier, it can take a few shots to get him down. But with a sniper rifle, with a fully charged sniper rifle, you can take him down with one shot, which is pretty cool. So I'm hanging out on top of this top platform here just to get a height advantage to them. Uh, it's not the best place to go. I would think, but um, but I do get to kind of peek out and look down at the cart. But uh, while I was dead, they they captured or they got the cart up the hill, and so now it's stuck up there. Get a pretty good headshot on a moving demo. That's one of the things that I I really want to practice on, and I think most most snipers want to get better at is shooting moving targets because the good players they're not gonna stand around and just you know like medics, they're not just going to really stand around and heal people. The good players, what they're going to do is they're going to jump around, they're going to move around, kind of strafe back and forth, because they know that there are snipers out there and there are spies out there that are trying to pick them off. And so, as a sniper, if you can pick, out, if you can pick off moving targets, like consistently, then that, I mean, yeah, that's really good. And you don't even have to, like, kill them. You can just damage them, and that's fine. And uh, that that itself is pretty difficult. But uh, I'm practicing on it. 
uh, now that I'm not recording with Fraps live, um, I'm recording demos uh, and then watching them back later on and recording with Fraps. I got a much higher frame rate while playing, and I can do a little more sniper uh, sniper gameplay. Now, there's a no scope. Let's lo let's have another re look at this. Oh, no scope. Now, this game is not really made for no scoping or quick scoping. I'm sure there's some of you who play Call of Duty. Um, and I used to I play Call of Duty too. I play Modern Warfare 2, and I play Black Ops. And one of the things that gets a, gets a lot of highlights and a lot of attention are people who can actually quick scope and no scope. And you know, do you know you've seen those videos with 360 no scope or 360 quick scope where people jump off of a ledge, do a 360, and and kill someone like super far away that we, I don't know if they were actually aiming for them. But this TF2 is not really a game built for that kind of that kind of gameplay. Uh, with TF2, you really have to pick your shots, and um, and because there are different classes that absorb, that have certain amount of uh, health, they have different amounts of health. Like I think the soldier has 200 health, the, the heavy has 300, and so you're not going to get these one-shot kills all the time. You are going to apply a lot of damage, over 100 damage, I think, for body shots and headshots, but you're uh, you're not going to be killing them all the time you know with these one shot kills uh, you're gonna be doing just damage to them and that's still a good thing as a sniper uh, if you're a sniper don't think that you have to get a kill on every shot and you'll see me I miss a lot in this gameplay uh, like they are <laughs> horrible horrible um, well, that guy was standing still and I should have got him but there we go but if you're a sniper don't feel bad about missing and I think that's one of the things like snipers like to do is they like to they like to hold and wait for that perfect moment and that's when they usually get killed is that they're not they're, they're too focused on the one person they're trying to kill and they're just waiting for the perfect opportunity and they get sniped by another sniper who wasn't even your in your line of view and so uh, in this game it's kind of like I guess uh, you, do, you see me do a lot of switching like weapon switching I got that from Counter-Strike and what I, what I do a lot is I like to see the entire area first, and uh, then zoom in and then scope out. If I um, if I can't get a good shot on the person I'm trying to aim for, I continue to look around for new people to shoot like that. Uh, there's a sniper who tries to snipe me, but boom, headshot. Uh, continue to as a sniper, continue to look around because you don't want to be locked onto your target and be too picky. Uh, you're not going to get enough shots off that way, and I know, like, if you want to keep up your accuracy, maybe I understand that, but really, uh, just doing damage is good enough. You know, just do a lot of damage to the other team, and your 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 teammates can finish them off uh, when they're damaged like that. Here, I have this little sniper sniper battle. I do a little jump. Uh, I was actually supposed to do a little strafe jump, but sometimes when I do a strafe jump. I don't hit the strafe button at the right moment, and so I end up doing a jump right in the right in midair and not really going anywhere. Here, this Uber, I don't know what happened. They're AFK or something, and so all I'm doing is I'm waiting, and I take out the medic first, and then I take out the soldier. I'm not really sure what happened. I, I probably should have went on chat and asked them like, were you guys AFK or something like that? But yeah, they were, they were just standing there, and I was just waiting, and uh, and got the kills pretty easily. So now, uh, still on this ledge here, and this ledge is pretty good. It gives you a good height advantage, as well as you can see a lot of the the high traffic areas like that platform back there. Snipers like to hang out back there behind those crates, and it uh, you can have a good view on this doorway and this uh, the valley down uh, down below that bridge. And so up here, you have a really good uh, really good lines of sight. Oh, spy! <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you see someone who's not on the who's on your team, but they seem to be all the way on the enemy side, it's probably a spy. So you can call it out and uh, let your teammates know, and that way you can get rid of that spy before he gets some backstabs on you. Here, this demo man tries to take off this sentry over here, and uh, <laughs> I, I get one hit on him. So there's an example of me getting just damage, uh, just damage points on him. And oh yeah, spy. Um, 
oh, here's a replay of that because it was pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, just getting damage on him is fine because there are other people on your team that can finish him off. And assists are okay. Um, I'm always happy with assists as sniper because, well, at least I know that I'm, co I'm contributing to my team. So still staying up here looking for people to, to kill. We killed a lot of them. And so uh, our team actually kind of pushed up pretty far up to their first point. And when we push up that far, you know, there's not many people back here. And so I just have to kind of wait. Now that demo man took the uh, the right, uh, the left route, sorry, the, the left route. And I'm kind of waiting for him up here. And so sure enough, there he is. And I take him out. Because I know that that demo man, he sees that sentry from last time, and that's his number one priority, is getting rid of that sentry. Otherwise, the blue team can't move up any further. And so uh, I'm doing kind of my role as defending the sentry, because I know this is a very important sentry emplacement, and we need to protect it. Uh, if, they get, if they get up here and uh, take out that sentry, we don't have much. I mean, there's only really me as a sniper and some soldiers. So here I get a little ambitious and start to charge the cart. I was a little impatient. I, I, I saw him in my scope a few times. Oh, here's a really good shot too. Oh yeah, mid-air. Headshot. Oh, actually that wasn't a headshot. Shoot. <laughs> oh, but like uh, that, <laughs> that soldier I got earlier, I was getting a little impatient. I was like, I ah, just charge in there with my, my melee knife and just kill him. And <laughs> later on I actually do the same thing uh, with someone else. So here's that demo man again, up on top, trying to get that sentry, uh, but we take him out. Now here's a sniper here, and here's when I get a little impatient, go in for a melee kill. Here's that soldier again, but he's actually healed. And so when I saw that uh, the medic stream that he was getting heal healed, I was like, oh, it's over, I can't do anything, and I'm going to die. So we end up holding the cart, they don't even get it on top of this little hill, and we win the round. So hope you enjoyed this gameplay, this sniper gameplay and have a nice day.